So we finally made it offshore. We're about 65 miles offshore at our first site uh, for our FAD deployments. Uh, this is buoy site number two, about 1,500 feet of water. Uh, what we see behind us, this is actually the deployment vessel. It's the Maranatha 2, based out of Orange Beach, Alabama. And on board, there's actually four FAD buoys which will be deployed today. The, the way that these are going to be deployed is we actually have a, another uh, uh, contractor on site that will actually be dragging the buoy away from the deployment vessel. Once it gets to the end of the line, they'll be coming back around and they'll be dumping the 36,000 pound anchor to the bottom. Well, it's, it's an older vessel. We bought it, it came out of the oil field. We needed a boat that would be stable. So these oil field boats are very stable. But none of them have ever had this type of crane on it before. So we bought the crane off of a oil platform and installed it on the boat and we have the only each one of those concrete weights back there weighs 12 tons. We have to put the buoy in the water and tow it away from the boat and stretch out 2,000 feet of line. And then we dump the concrete weight overboard. And then we have to try to figure out where the weight's going to land. So that's to land in the right place to make the buoy be above it where they want it. We have a really sophisticated navigation device in this boat with a dynamic positioning that will hold the boat within nine feet of where it's supposed to be and stay there until we finish the deployment. So for our industry, it's gonna be really big to have these fads out there. A lot of people spend a lot of time traveling and trying to get to structure in deeper water and having the ability to get to these within a day and offer a better experience in the pelagic and trolling fishery is huge for our industry here. Before these fads were deployed, our charters would have to book two and three day trips and make uh, the long jaunt over to Mississippi and Louisiana to access oil rigs and old platforms to get something comparable to what we have now with these fads out here. It's very important to us uh, because of the military and what they do out off, offshore Destin with Eglin being right here and the testing they do, we're actually at a deficit of weather equipment. Uh, the, those waters have to stay open for the military tests and having another set of weather stations uh, deployed within 100 miles of Destin is really beneficial to our fishing fleet. It helps us make decisions on the day on what the weather uh, is currently and what is coming towards us. And it's uh, very beneficial to us for safety, knowing what's out there before our guys take off and, and take, take people out there to enjoy our resource. Well, it's gonna give the deep water fishermen, the uh, offshore trollers, an edge on the pelagic species such as wahoos and dolphin and blackfin tuna, yellowfin tuna, and all the marlins, uh, white marlin, blue marlin, sailfish, and swordfish. It'll give a, it's just a place to gather the bait which will gather the big fish. The fads are like a magnet. They draw up the small bait fish, and it might start like a, a little hardtail, two inches long, or a cigar minnow. The small fish gather the big fish. You know, even the small school dolphin that get around them, that's good food for wahoos and dolphin and uh, marlins, and it's just a chain. It's very similar to an artificial reef on the bottom. Small fish get there, bigger fish come. So it acts like a magnet. The same concept as the oil rigs down to the southwest. Little fish get around it and then the big ones. The Soda Canyon, uh, the tip of the spur, is about 65 nautical miles south-southwest of Destin Sea Buoy. Uh, the canyon is basically a horseshoe-shaped tongue that comes in from the deep water. 200 fathom curve is the, what they call the canyon. So we just put them in a horseshoe around the outskirts of the canyon uh, in about that depth of the water, some shallower, some deeper, and worked off to the uh, south. So uh, you can start about 65 miles and fish them and end up 75 or 78 miles. It's all uh, designed to work in conjunction with the natural contour of the bottom. Billfish like to get around uh, where there's a change in the bottom, where the currents will be upwelling, uh, where the tide lines make up. and. Uh, Historically, the fishing in and around the canyon has been good anyway. This is going to just make it extra good. We've been working on this for almost nine years. So uh, through all the agencies and the uh, NOAA and National Marine Fisheries and 
oh, you know, we had to take into account about the patterns of the whales when they migrate through and the, the hard bottom versus the mud bottom. And there's a lot of different variables we had to get past one step at a time. And every time we got a step closer, the next step was a little easier because we had a little, a little history built up. But it was a long process, but I figured it was worth the trouble.